Travis Blessing, owner of TNT Health and Fitness, here for another TNT time. Today, what we're going to talk about or what are the keys to beating a summer weight gain. So, Tyler, you can go ahead and start it off. I think the first uh, first step is setting a goal. So, as of always, whenever there's purpose to something, you're going to make better decisions. But if you have no purpose, you're going to more than likely fall towards the more convenient options, more the feel good options like emotional decisions, like in summer, like ice cream and beer and all those. Uh, not exercising feels pretty good, just relaxing in the pool instead of maybe swimming a few laps. The easy things become easier during the summer because most people are working towards their goal far shallow in summer, but then they forget to set a goal during summer to make sure that they maintain it. So, so that's usually the hard but you always need to be working towards something is the biggest point. Is of like if you you don't have anything to make decisions towards of like if you're like if you don't have a goal during summer, you're not going to like is it, is this going to be a good decision or is this going to be a bad decision? Right. So it's like there's no motivation to push you forth and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the first step to say the least. Yeah, yeah, and then um, and then adding in uh, is just adding in the 90-10 rule to where you're 90% right and then 10% uh, like where you can just do the things that um, you want to do as well. That way you don't feel like you have to be 100% all the time just because I've seen clients time and time again. To where they feel like that they have to be perfect all the time and then whenever that happens is it just if there's like they make one mistake for the day then they just throw the whole day away or that just throws them off the whole um their whole routine so um so just keeping in, in mind just the 90 10 rule to where you're making 90 percent of the decisions on a regular basis towards that goal like tyler was saying and then um and then just 10 percent is um just things that can actually take you away from the goal. So uh, just that way you don't feel like you have, you're so restricted to um, making a perfect decision every single day. Yeah. So yeah. just kind of leaving leaving that open. And yeah. I think the biggest part too is if you actually want to create a lifestyle, you can't be expected to be perfect at the right. same time. So regardless, even whenever you do set a goal, even in the winter yeah. time, at the same time, <laughs> yeah. like, you need to make sure that you're keeping and the same principles regardless. Yeah, so and then, like, yeah, and then in the summer, you, there's so many more different things going on, such as like, there's different like graduation parties, there's different weddings going on. So it seems like a lot, a lot more people have a lot of things going on on the weekends. So um, so just really not beat, beating yourself up on if you eat something that's kind of off your plane, if you're at like a graduation party or some, some, more, some sort of other, other uh, celebrations as yeah, well. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I would say also another thing to think about is, okay, so summer is the biggest time for taking vacations and like basically getting out of whatever routine you were in. So say if you were in a routine of getting to a go, another thing with a go to, a lot of times you set a go for summer and then whenever you, or for some a specific vacation you're going on, and then whenever you get there, now it's like your mindset is, oh, well, I'm here, I, I, I met my goal, or I, maybe I didn't meet my goal, but I'm still kind of working on it. But the thing is, when you're on vacation, yes, there's plenty of places to relax and awesome restaurants to eat at and stuff, and that's fantastic. So go and enjoy that, but it's just trying to keep the mindset of not going too crazy. Not letting yourself go too crazy, even if you're going to go be on vacation for a week or two or something like that. So then when you get back, okay, now there's been two weeks of just basically all these different things that are like all these negative decisions that are keeping us away from hitting a go or again just kind of like what we're talking about trying to beat the summer weight gain this is just one of those areas that again just vacation yes go and enjoy it have fun with your family with your friends and everything but just don't get too crazy too relaxed with uh, your nutrition and different yeah, things yeah. Like that. I think a big part too of like what you said is like don't get too crazy so I think as always like your like your goals inside the box mm -hmm. here like the 90 10 rule plays in the part is of like oh, yeah. you need to be making decisions around that goal but is like mm -hmm. whenever people go on vacation they step out of that box yep and then as of like as the like yeah. most people and take it like, and then they take another step yep and then they take another step and then they take another step and it's like you get so far away from the box mm -hmm. that you forget about the purpose yeah, of like sure. actually what you're even doing is of like that whole goal that that Goals, purpose, and everything yeah. like that. So it's a why sure. people lose perception of that. So I think that's a big part. But yep. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. For sure. For sure. Um, yeah. Anything else, guys? I think that's, that's it. it. That's pretty uh, good stuff. Yeah. There, there's some good tips to help you beat the summer weight gain for the summer. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave any questions or comments below. But uh, we'll see you next time.